Next, I'm going to show you how to get a solid, supported sound, a powerful, controlled sound. And this all happens with diaphragm support. The diaphragm muscle is this muscle under your lung sacs. And it is attached to the lungs and it pulls down, it flexes down. And as it pulls down, air is sucked into your lungs. Well, imagine that muscle pulling down to inflate your lungs. Well, your guts have to move. And that's why anytime you take a full, relaxed, deep belly breath, your, your guts, your belly will move. Okay? So do this with me. Sit up relaxed and tall. Put your hand on your belly below your sternum and your ribs, okay? So you can really feel down low. And you're going to take a huge deep breath, as big as you can, and you're going to feel with your hand to see how your hand moves. Ready? One, two, breathe. Push out. One more time, go. Is your hand moving? Use a mirror if you need to. Get in front of the mirror. Feel and see how your belly is moving when you breathe deep. Do it again. Relax and roll your shoulders. You don't need them for this at all. You're just going to relax your shoulders. Let those bones hang from your spine. Hand on your belly. You ready? One, two. Push, push, push. Again, deep breath. Push. Okay, you feeling that? Now, if your hand is not moving much when you do this, it should be moving quite a bit. If your hand is not moving, then chances are your shoulders might be moving. And you might be breathing tall and shallow. Here's often what that looks like. One, two. See my chest heaving? And my shoulders raising? And it has a shallow high sound. We want that low. Okay, warm, low. All right, so work in a mirror. Make sure you can do this and push all the way to the end of your breath. Now we're going to try it on the sacks. You can just hold a G, and what we're going to do is take that big deep breath in and we're going to blow all the way out. Keep pushing, 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 pushing. Ready? One, two, breathe. <laughs> Keep going, keep pushing. Do you have more to give? If you take a deep belly breath, you've got more to give. Okay? Do it again. One, two. <sighs> okay, you get the idea, right? You want to work so that you can control that breath support. Controlling your breath support makes your sound so big and round. Plus, it makes the sound flexible. Here's what I mean by that. Imagine that you've got to play really soft. I'm able to go soft and then suddenly loud, and the whole time the sound is warm and round and centered, that comes from a good embouchure and it comes from good belly breath support. That's why these two things are so important for you to practice first. Practice those long, full, long tones, blowing all the way to the end of your breath, taking deep, full, relaxed belly movement breaths. Okay? And, uh, and, we're going we're gonna to wrap up this topic for now and move on to some others. You can keep practicing this, especially in a mirror and with long tones. But let me show you another reason why this diaphragm belly breathing is so powerful and important. Watch this. Okay, you get, did you, did you notice how I'm, uh, 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 right? I'm sorry, that was a bad example. Let me do that again. <laughs> I'm going, whoo, 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 whoo. I'm pushing air 
to accent my notes. And if you have a good supported breath, you've got all kinds of power to give. Listen again. Diaphragm breathing.